What is up guys, it is Nick and we are back and it is time to complete the Team Diamonds. I went through and completed them all. I've got all of my profit. We're going to be adding it up and subtracting it here in the video. I got the calculator pulled up on my laptop, so we're going to be doing that while we record this. So we'll be putting each one in and I'll be going over exactly the issues that I had with each set and the hard players to get. Um... I have to. I might have to back out and look. I, I know exactly what slot. I just don't always remember the name of the players. So, a little, little, little bit of backing out. But we'll start with the Bears. So the Bears. Keep in mind, I had somewhere roughly between other than the Ravens. I only had eight players in the Ravens set. Other than that, I roughly had one elite and somewhere between ten and fourteen golds for each set. So starting off with the Bears. We uh, we spent 212 on the players, 12k was the reward, and 328k is what I sold the Amos for. Now I recently bought the Amos back because I'm going to be using him instead of Landon Collins. But yeah, the Amos. So I profited 128k on that. I paid less for the Amos this time. I think I played like nine 299 or something like that. But for that set, we made 128k, and for some reason. There we go, 128k. So we're profit. We're up 128 after the first set. Next is the Bengals. Cost me 230k to get this set done. Um, the reward was 57, and I sold the uh, Geno Atkins for 206 for a profit of 33,000 coins. Haven't there weren't any big issues with any of these at the top. You had gotten to real issues down here at the bottom. They got pricey. So my suggestion is if you're gonna do this, start at the bottom. You're gonna want to nail out Patriots, Raiders, Seahawks, Texans, Steelers, Panthers, and Packers and Falcons. Those are the ones you're gonna want to nail out. But we'll continue here. Buffalo Bills. Spent only 111k. I had the Tredavious White, so that saved me a bunch of coins. Only spent 111. Reward was 48k, and then I sold him for 143, so that was a profit of 80k. And these are the prices after tax. Uh, some of these I sold a little bit cheaper than I probably should have because I um, I wanted to. Um, my turn to say I wanted to keep going and a couple of these guys I needed their coins in order to keep going moving on to the Broncos this one had the Von Miller in it which was a decently expensive uh, uh, card for me some of these I had the cards that were expensive like um, what was it I gotta remember the set was it the J I think it was the Jets hold on I'll show you guys the card so in the Jets Where is the Rashad Jones? Or not the Rashad Jones. Oh my gosh, I can't even... That, that Avery Williamson. Oh, there it is. Just completely missing it. Um, it was... There were two golds that had some value. The Thomas Rawls at the time I was doing it. And I think it was this David Bass. The David Bass wasn't even up on the auction. Um, but I believe those were the two cards that gave me the most problem with this set. Uh, but I, or I, not gave me trouble. I already had them, uh, so they didn't give me any issue. But they are harder cards to get. Uh, there was also in the Seahawks set, Trey Madden. There were no Trey Maddens up. I didn't have Trey Madden, so I had to buy him. I had to pay, I'd spent like 12 k on him because it was the last card I needed. And when one was posted, I didn't want to wait any longer, so I just bought it. Um, but those were kind of the biggest. There was some other. There was a Packers gold that gave me issues, and that one didn't come up forever. I waited forever for uh, the Packers. Was it Jamal? No, it's Ty Montgomery. I waited forever for a Ty Montgomery to come up on the auction block. It took forever. I way overpaid for one, but it was just. It was like two hours before another one popped up, and it was like when I was looking, and it was crazy. I finished so many sets waiting for that one. So the Broncos. Spent 425. The reward was 17k, and then I sold um, 
the Chris Harris for 368k, which was negative 40k. So if you're keeping track, we're at positive 201k right now. The Browns was a hugely profitable set for me, and I didn't have a bunch of the elites. Um, I only spent 134k on this set. 36k was the reward, and I sold the Jarvis Landry for 188. So that was a profit of 90k. Uh, moving on to the Tampa Bay Bucks, we spent 343k on cards for this. The reward was 101, and I sold the Gerald McCoy for um, 251. So that was a profit of only 9k, but still profits profit, and that actually makes our profit after the Bucks an even 300. Moving on to the Cardinals, this was one of the worst sets in terms of making coins for me. Uh, I didn't have many of the cards, and I didn't have the expensive golds. So it ended up costing me 412k to do the set and only yielded me a reward of 76k and selling the Larry Fitch only yielded me 242. So that was a loss of 96k. Uh, moving on to the next one, which is the San Diego Chargers. The Chargers was an okay set. I spent 300k and the reward was 102. I actually didn't expect the Melvin Gordon to spell, sell for 260k, but he did, so that yielded a profit of 62k for us. The Kansas City Chiefs was an extremely profitable set for me. I had the Tyree kill, I had a couple of the other cards in it, and so I was able to only spend 310k, got a reward of 54, and then sold the card uh, for 359k, which yielded a profit of 103,000 coins. Moving on to the Colts, the Colts I spent 141k, the reward was to only 2k, and then I sold the Jabal Sheard for 170k, which yielded a little profit of 31, actually bringing us up to an even 400,000 profit after that. Next was the Cowboys, a very expensive set. The Cowboys cost me 611k, only sold the Travis Frederick, I believe, for... 395k the reward was 167 which mitigated some of the damage but it still resulted in a loss of 39,000 coins moving on to the dolphins my most uh profitable set i think out of all of this there might be one no no there's one more that was more profitable uh the dolphins i don't remember quite if i had a bunch of the cards but it only cost me 85k to do the set the reward was 56 and i sold the Rashad Jones for 179 which yielded me a profit of 152 k Moving on to the Eagles, this was a set when I initially did it that was pretty expensive and I didn't expect to make any coins on it. It cost me exactly 600 k to do it. The reward was 153 and I actually sold the Lane Johnson for 475 which gave me a modest profit of 28 but it felt like a giant win in my book. I believe the Falcons is the biggest one I had. The Falcons... I spent 482k, but the Julio sold for 440, and it came with a reward of 188, which I did the math wrong on this. It's not actually what I have here. So that is a profit of 42. Actually, it is a profit. Okay, uh -huh. no, 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 no. I did the, I did the number wrong. Okay, so that's negative 42. So that's a profit of 146k. I was gonna say I did the I did the math wrong. I had it as 230, but that that was wrong. Moving on to the 49ers, the Niners cost me 382k, 16k was the reward, and I was only able to get 305k uh, from selling the card, and so that netted a negative loss of 61k. Moving on to the New York Giants, we spent 340k on this one, the reward was 62, and the old L Beckham Jr. sold for 54 or for 332k for a profit of 54,000 coins. The Jaguars cost me 746,000 to do, a reward of 22k, and I'm pretty still annoyed at the price that I sold the Jalen Ramsey for, but I sold it for 770, um, which was or I sold it for 708k. Uh, which yielded a negative return of 6k. I think I could have gotten a huge profit on that if I would have just been patient, but I wasn't. So, moving on to the Jets. So, I spent 110k on the Jets. 12k was the reward, and I sold the Avery Williamson for an 89k, yielding a profit of 1,000 coins. So, when I say I sold it for one for 89, I mean like I sold it, and that's what I returned. That's what I got back. Like I sold it for like 100 and something. But after the tax, I got 89k. So that's how I'm doing this. 
The Lions, 130k is what I spent. 68k was the reward, and 161 is what I sold for. So for a profit of 99. Now, granted, this includes me having Darius Slay, so I think the Lions is one of the worst sets to do. I had the Slay and a couple other cards, so the Lions isn't as profitable as that makes it sound. Moving on to the Packers, it's about 457k on this. The reward was 68, and I sold uh, is it the Bakhtiari for 377k. It resulted in a loss of 12,000 coins. So here's one of the, here coming up are the three. Let's see here, three, four, four in a row of losing coins. So these were late at night, last, two nights ago, and man, did I just get reamed on the coins. The Panthers set I spent 575k, 93k was the reward and 363 is what I sold it for so that was a loss of 119,000 coins uh, moving on to the Patriots set my favorite team it cost me 592k to do the set the reward was only 21k and I only sold the Brady for 422 which was a loss of 169,000 coins just an absolute brutal loss there for the Patriots set the Raiders set, I spent 426k, the reward was 112, but the Coleccio Semele only sold for 215k, so that was a loss of 89,000 coins. And then the Rams cost 706k to do the set, 127k was the reward, and 473 is what I sold the Indomitian Sioux for, for a negative of 106,000 coins. But now we're going to get back into a little bit of a profit before losing again. So the Baltimore Ravens are up next. Spent 260 Got a reward of 68 k And uh, sold uh, the Marshall Yonda for 242 k So that was a nice little profit of 50 k uh, Moving on to the Redskins. 275 k is what I spent. 88k was the reward, and 215 is what I sold the Kerrigan for for a profit of 28,000 coins. Uh, the Saints, I spent 450 on the Saints. 143k was the reward, but was only able to sell. I don't even remember who the Saints diamond is, but I sold it for 269k. That yielded a um, it yielded a loss of. I did the math wrong on this. What is this? Hold on. 200, 200, 131, actually that's a profit of 13k, it's a profit of 13k I guess, no that can't be right, no maybe I'm right, no I'm right, alright I'm right, it's a, it's a loss of 30k, it looked wrong for some reason, it's a loss of 30k. So moving on to the Seahawks, this was one of my. This is not a profitable set. It's gonna say profitable, but I put my Bobby Wagner in it, so it wasn't really profitable because I lost my Bobby Wagner, and I'm probably gonna have to buy him back. So the Seahawks set cost me 486k. The reward was 81k, and I sold the Earl Thomas for 466k, which is a technical profit of 101k. But we're not gonna. I'm gonna say I lost 100k on it because I'm gonna have to buy Bobby Wagner back. So. We're going to say minus 100k. Moving on to the Steelers. 620k is what I spent. 26k was the reward. And 445k is all I got for the Le'Veon Bell. Which was a negative 154,000 coins. So minus 154,000. Next up is the Houston Texans. So the Houston Texans have Watt. They've got Clowney. They've got DeAndre Hopkins. They cost me 770k to do. The reward was 188k, and I sold the Jadevian Clowney for 538, which was only a negative 54, which I was genu genuinely happy about because it was just I just was hoping not to lose like 200 or 300 thousand on that. So the Titans are our last profitable set. Um, I spent 170k. The reward was 69k. And I sold the is it Delaney Walker for 215. So that was a nice little profit of 114,000. And then the final one before we unlock the Ronnie Lot is the Minnesota Vikings. This is the Xavier Rhodes. 
I spent 635k. The reward was 12k, and I sold, um, I sold the roads for 618k, which was only a loss of 5k. So that makes the net profit for doing all these sets 128k, which isn't really that good. If if you sat around and you sniped and you you made sure that everything was perfect and all of that you could probably make close to 300k 400k if you had my coins and you had my golds but i didn't want to sit around and do that i wanted to do them and get them done i would say the worst sets if you don't have elites are the jadevian clowny or yeah the jadevian clowny the texans the seahawks is pretty bad um, even though I did make money on it, the Rams is terrible just because of Donald and Sue. It's just terrible. Um, the Osemily is pretty terrible for the Raiders just based on relative price. The set's not that expensive, but it's just terrible. The Patriots is really bad. The Panthers is really bad. So is the Packers with Aaron Rodgers. Those are just really bad ones. Um, also the Steelers... The 49ers one is really bad, too. Um, the Cardinals is terrible because no one wants that fits for the price that it's going for, so it's also really hard to sell. Really, the only one I can suggest that you do that's really profitable is the Giants and the Falcons. Those are the real ones that I didn't have any elites for. The, so for the Falcons, I'll go into this. I'll show you wherever the Falcons are. So the Julio Jones set. I did not have Julio, Trufant, Mac, Freeman, Deion Jones. The first elite I had in this set was Robert Alford. I had Robert Alford, Ryan Schrader, and that was it. Those were the only two elites I had. Now, I had a little, almost all the golds, I think, but I didn't have any of the elites. I had to buy the Julio, and I did not use the Julio that's on my team, so I had to actually buy the Julio. Uh, I wish that set came with a little bit of coins when you completed this Ronnie lot, but it does not. But it currently goes for 1.25 million, so after tax, after a modest little tax here, we'll get about one, we'll just say a flat 1 million, because I'll probably post it for 1.9, 1 1.2, so it's 1.08, so I made about 1.1 million on this set if I choose to sell the Ronnie lot, which I probably will. I don't think I'll keep him. Um... I just, yeah, I just don't have much interest in him on my team. Um, I think I can do much better with the 1.1 million that he's going to give me. But yeah, so a team update will be on the horizon. I haven't exactly decided what I want to do overall with some of the, the stuff with my team. Uh, but I, uh, I am working on completing my team. I have not played my solo battles, so um, I'm not going to place high in the solo battles. I just haven't had time, and so... I will open my rewards in that in a video, but yeah, we, we will not we will not be placing high in in solo battles like I thought, um, because I got I lost this game. It, I wish I would have been recording. It was the most it was the absolute most hilarious loss I've ever taken in my entire life in a video game. I mean, it was just I think I f I fumbled it six times. I fumbled it six times. I still had a chance to win in the end, but I fumbled again. To, I fumbled the sixth time late in the game, and it was like not even like bad players. Antonio Brown had two fumbles. Julio fumbled. Um, uh, Terrell Davis fumbled. James White fumbled, and Vic fumbled. The Vic fumbles was fine. I didn't care about that one, but I I just I had six fumbles and I just couldn't I just couldn't play it anymore. I had to I had to take a break. I was like, this is just absolutely ridiculous. But yeah, that's gonna do it, guys. I have about one million coins I'm gonna go shopping with and see what I can do. I wanna make a just an absolutely destructive defense and then uh I'll just roll with what my offense is. But yeah, guys, that's gonna do it. I'm gonna shut up and get out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.